Storm's head cleared, she ran. She ran fast, for the elemental shrines were at the top of the mountain. Starlight poured out of the sky and filled her heart with hope. Halfway up the mountain, the path became a series of steep steps carved in the rock. Storm began to climb, scrambling through curtains of dangling vines. The jungle seemed strangely quiet, as though all the night dwellers, the big-eyed mag-mag monkeys, mouse owls and sloths, were watching. She tried not to think about strangle snakes hanging from among the vines, or the tribe of cloud leopards that prowled the mountain. She, like all 13 years, took the choosing path unarmed. She lost count of the steps. Her legs burned and her breathing was wheezing gasps when the climb ended and Storm stood at last on the smooth stone ledge that circled the mountain top. This was the path of the spirits and it shone like water beneath the stars. The ever wind of the high mountain tugged at her clothes and hair. She hesitated, gathering courage, then turned left. She must visit the shrines in order, and the spirit of the air, the albatross, was first. Her feet drummed stone, wind pushed her on, storm ran, and the mountain rotated. Her stomach knotted as she spotted the shrine. A wooden doorway stretched high against the side of the mountain. She slowed to a walk as she neared the huge teak pillars carved with the symbols of the albatross and its dominion, the sky. The carvings were weather-worn, rubbed away in places by the wind. A sense of immense age permeated the place and even the wind seemed to fall away, silenced by awe. Storm dropped to her knees. Greetings, great albatross, the words came out in a tumbled rush. It is the night of my choosing, great spirit. Unworthy as I am, I come to offer myself. If you accept me as your human child, I will strive to live virtuously so that I may create things of beauty and usefulness in your honor. I beg you to allow me to enter the shrine and await your answer. Thank you, great one. Trembling, she stood up and walked through the wooden doorway. The entrance to the shrine itself was a narrow slit in the mountain, only wide enough for one person at a time. She stepped into darkness, feet cautious, hands feeling the walls either side, storm moved forward. She had known it would be like this. Supplicants must come meekly, blinded and helpless. The elders had told them that the tunnel would lead to a small round room. Her instructions were to wait in the center of the shrine for 100 heartbeats and then, answered or unanswered, feel her way back out into the world. But what Storm had not expected was the fear that gripped her by the throat. Fear not of the dark, but of dissolving into it. She swayed and her hands pushed at the stone walls, keeping her on her feet. Slowly, terror loosened its grip, heart thudding, storm walked carefully forward until her hands suddenly stretched wide as the tunnel expanded. She was in the chamber of the albatross. As she knew she must, she stepped out into nothingness. Her hands could no longer tell her which was up, which down. She only had the soles of her sandaled feet to connect her with the world of the living. She took one, two, three, four steps into the unknown and began to count. Three, four, five, 27, 28, 31. She felt herself sway. As she struggled to remember which way was up, she heard a voice, balance. At the sound, her heart grew heavy with dread. The voice was so old. How can anything be so old and yet live? She felt small, impossibly young, and of no importance at all. She found she had forgotten who she was. The girl groped, panic-struck to remember, and when the memory returned, she nearly wept with relief. I am Storm. You are Storm, the voice agreed. I claimed you when you were still in your mother's womb, 
and you are most truly a child of air. You carry the gift and curse of the storyteller. You must learn to tell the difference between those stories that create and those that destroy. But you must first know who and what you are. As you command words, so shall you command the wind. Storm bringer, storm rider, storm queller. Much is needed from you. Learn what it is. Now go, storm child. Remember my words.